Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian from TV Central, and welcome back to a new video. I'm back after nearly more than a year. Um, pretty much, a lot of stuff has happened in the meantime. <clears throat> um, now, I'm not going to go into much detail about <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me um, about the last uh, one and a half years, or well, basically two years. Um, I'll do that in another video, but for now, I want to um, address the fact that I'm gonna review every single redstone uh, contraption in my secret base because that's what I did years ago <clears throat> with my secret base, um, as some of you might know. Um, and so I figured it might be a good idea to go through it with you again so that you can see it with this one because, in my opinion, I do feel like this one's a lot better and a lot of contraption a lot smaller a lot of it is my design are my designs i would say uh, the last one i used quite a lot of other people's designs for example seeing me minecraft he uh, was a big um inspiration for myself and i used a lot of things in his in my base from him last time um but in this ba build in this base it won't be as much um simply because i want to experience uh like experiment with my own things and i wanted to um find out stuff for myself obviously there are a few things that are not my design which i will you know i'll mention i just won't go into it at the moment uh in this video but all the things that i've, I've made myself all the things that i say I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that are mine uh some of them i could do a tutorial on it obviously in this video, i'm gonna go through everything and explain it so first of all um obviously with the video you've seen me come through here with the boat and um this thing might look familiar to some of you um, in which that it's actually a CB Minecraft uh, build like it's like the same entrance it opens up like that cuts the water off uh, splits it and then you have a door there and when you go back you go into it it resets now basically to quickly explain to you um, <laughs> if I can go if I can find it there you go um, basically this thing's a lot bigger um, the one CB Minecraft did is really really small um and to be fair <clears throat> i'm not gonna lie i did try to make that one off of the video but it turns out that because the game is so updated now that it no longer works so that's great so i had to go to a different world um which is basically my redstone ready uh world and decide it myself so this is basically what i came up with um as you can see it's not particularly small um but to quickly explain what's going on um is that we got the single coming in from here the pink line right here so uh, i need to <coughs> find a way to go to the uh, switch room um this is everything else basically um yeah oh right here okay yeah i found it so basically this is a contraption too um not particularly my design, but it's, 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 it's quite common, so I think everyone everyone's using it. So this is when you put the torch down. So I think you put it on this block right here. Sorry, yeah, on this block right here. Um, and essentially, it's a butt switch. So when you put the torch on the side of this block, this piston will extend, and then it will give you redstone output. Basically, this is a piston like right. Oh, I don't want to break anything in case there's water behind it, but I can show you. Okay, there you go. So there's a a piston here that will extend when this one does and <clears throat> when it does this redstone block will get pushed in front of here and it will activate all of that with a delay obviously and it will also go through here which are all the note blocks as you can hear so that's a little tune like I, I don't know i'm not quite sure if it was that clear in the video i feel like it was um but that's a little tune that you hear whenever you um put the torch on the right block basically so um yeah, so I will go through this through this sequence here, and it will end there. We say so. There's two lines. The signal comes off of here. Whenever this block block is gets pushed in front of this, this will get activated, and it will go through all of the uh, note blocks, and it will power it. Um, and also this line here, which on a delay will come through here <clears throat> and goes into the pink like it comes out of there that hole there goes onto this pink line here and it will go into a latch which well as some of you might know obviously an, a latch is um, a memory cell so it will remember 
one bit of information. So basically, if you, basically when you when you power this, this torch will light up, and when it does, um, it will power this redstone and it will activate our system. So that's how you get in. And then to close the door behind you, you step on the pressure plate, which is basically the, this green line here. And then when you do that, it comes all the way along here and it will power this block, which will reset the system and it will push everything back in. So as you can see there, it's gone back to flash. So obviously, oh, okay, that usually happens. I would say one out of 10 times that happens, um, happens, but obviously for this demonstration purposes, it's, 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 it's fine. Yeah, oh, I need to take a bit longer, but um, yeah, basically, <clears throat> The design, is, the design is basically flawless, other than that one thing that happens like one out of ten times. So, unfortunately, it was it was this time. <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah, that's basically it. So when when as soon as you get in, it will reset behind you, and then obviously you can't open it back up because you've reset the latch basically. So um, this thing, however, whenever you power this, the redstone will everything will get powered basically. So you have a piston here which is a i think it's a normal piston that pushes sand all the way up and it will push this it will push the sand into um oh, hold on <laughs> it will push the sand uh in front of this repeater and it will power all of this which is basically a really long delay line with repeaters that will double piston extend this so it will cut the water off and sorry, it won't cut the water. It will split it in half. So as soon as the water comes down, this thing it will it will get extended and it will split the waterfall. Um, and then obviously on on the on the lay as well. Here, this goes into a block. Here it will come up, come up, come up here, and then this will. This is basically just a a secret uh, one by one, sorry one by two piston door, um, which is really simple. Also at a delay. Then, um, as you can see. <laughs> This giant um, tower of sand is also part of the circuit. So before, like my last video, like, yeah, like during my last video, like before my last video, these blocks were not introduced in the game yet. So these are uh, observ observer blocks, which will detect uh, a block update. So basically, like a butt switch, and it will emit a power signal through the other side. So basically, what I've done is, as soon as you power this, this piece will get extended. This Observe will pick up the signal from that and it will power this one. Sorry, it will update, then this will detect it, it will update, and then that pushes this piston out. So it pushes this sand all the way up into this block here, which pushes this piston out, but it like spits it out because it's a really fast pulse. Because uh, observers only give you one tick of uh, redstone. So basically, this, this, tower, this tower pushes up and it falls back down straight away making this piston spit its block out and then it will power all of this and there's basically a, uh, a pulse lengthener so it will go through this power the piston sort of spit the block out comes back power it again to pull it back in and that's basically what the whole thing is about and then basically that's all the three systems just combined obviously and um yeah, um, pretty much it just it just works. It's just like at delays. Like, like I thought the hardest part was just figuring out all the delays, really. Um, but I've done it. I'm, I'm actually quite proud of this thing, despite how big it is. Um, I'm actually quite proud. Then, um, obviously, as you guys know, um, you've got the uh, the color combination lock, which opens this door up, and that will yeah we'll go into into that room in a bit. So. <clears throat> Uh, I can quickly show you how that works. Um, again, just to, well, not again, to, to, to sum up, basically to explain to you guys. This design, uh, I'm not going to claim any, any credit for because it's actually Mumbo Jumbo's design. Um, in case you don't know, Mumbo Jumbo is actually a really big uh, YouTuber at the moment. He makes a lot of videos. I feel like a lot of people take his designs and sort of claim it as their own or just use it in the world. It's actually quite good. To be honest, um, and so is this design. This design is really good. So in a way, <clears throat> again, I'm not going to make a tutorial for for everything that's not mine because that would be uh, a bit unfair. Um, and although I will put the links in the, in the description for tutorials if you want to know how to build this thing, um, in case you're interested. So 
basically to quickly sum up what this thing does is um, you've got four units right here as you can see like there's four torches on here and each um, segment represents a a digit in the code so it's a color basically so right now this white block here is in front of the uh, the the glass right here as you can see so let me put that back because basically I, w I wanted to make sure that when you came in everything will be white so that it's like sort of neutral and yeah you can sort of start off like that so we got two rings that spin around um, as you can see, this piston here, piston there, piston there, piston there, and it will spin around all of these blocks right here. And obviously, that's, that's what you see when you press the button. At the same time, say for whatever reason you want um, white to be, you know, your first digit in the code. Um, you go to how it is now, because obviously white is the one at the front of the um, the glass. You have a different ring here which spins around at the same time as this one at the same rate and it has it's basically all glass um, but one block is a, uh, a data block which will basically I mean you can see about on this side actually so as you can see this is a blue block right here so the blue block is a data block and it's a bit like the same thing with, with, with the clock that I made a few years back where for every like memory sort of cell you have glass because you don't want the signal to pass which is how it is now like this this um furnace has items in it <clears throat> and it has the um uh, a comparator picking up power from this uh furnace because it's full at the moment so as soon as you spin this round this block will go obviously will go around and around and as soon as it gets here uh, let me show you that so as soon as your data block which is this blue block here as soon as it gets spin around obviously it, it, it goes there and then when that does this turns on then we'll turn that torch off and so in a sense what's happening is that when you get all the the correct colors all of these torches will turn off and when they do this time will turn off which will make this torch turn on and then we'll open our door so basically that's how you get the red redstone signal out of it um so it, it's, it's, it's actually quite clever um now obviously it's really compact so i can't really show you much of it at the moment um but again i will link a tutorial of this thing in the description below uh, for all you people that want to check it out and have a go at it and see if you want to use it in your world because to be honest it's 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 great i will say it's on like it's a bit slow um in the sense that um if you have full numbers for colors in the sense you are going to spend a lot of time going through them all just to open your door which is what i did in my video um and hence why I sped it up because it's quite slow but again it's quite good I mean you can't really make these things much faster because it has to spin every block around so um, but yeah again it's really cool um, and then to quickly say um, this will open up this door which is the I think people call it a hipster door nowadays um, again mumbo jumbo's design so I'm not gonna claim any credit for this thing um, and if you want to know how to build this then again I'll put a link in the description um, for those people that want to check it out um, yeah, I can't really explain other, this one other than how it's like, it's just basically, as you can see in the video with, um, of the secret base, there's two glass blocks here, and they will basically, basically become your door, um, and it will leave everything flush and smooth, and everything's really nice, so, yeah, again, I'll leave the description in, I'll leave the tutorial in, in the description, so, there you go, and then, um, I'll go cut through here. Um, no, no, actually, this is um, my little thing here. Uh, a trapdoor, which closes, and then we need to type in the right code, which I think is this. It should open it up. There we go. So, um, yeah, obviously the infamous combination lock, which I've had in many builds, um, including my um, last secret base, which again is uh, CMB's design. But um, it's so common; like everybody uses these things now. Obviously, there there's different kinds of uh, arrays. Like for example, this is in a, an an Snow Latch array, um, but it's like the old one. Like it doesn't use any pistons. And nowadays, you have systems where um, they do use pistons. And even I think I've seen I've, I've even seen designs where they use uh, observers, which are really clever as well. But this is what I was used to. This is what I'm comfortable with. So I made this uh, this thing. Obviously, the decoder here. Um, 
yeah, I can't really do a tutorial on this. Um, I could maybe not because um, I designed this thing, but because it's just really cool and um, I feel like CMB Minecraft design is quite old um, and it's quite an old video. So maybe maybe I could do a, a video on this. I'm not quite sure, but again, it's really common. So you've probably seen it like loads of times already. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm, not even, I'm not really gonna explain this one because um, I, I think I did it in, in the last video and like for the last secret base, I explained it a bit. So if you want to go to that video, again, everything will be in, in the description below. Um, but yeah, so when you get to the last torch, this will get powered and then this is my little thing right here. Um, now, as you can see, it's, it's quite big um, and believe it or not, I actually got a design that's way smaller. Uh, I actually got. I actually have two designs. One of which is lever activate, just like this one. Um, and I have one that's button activated, which is a bit slower. Um, but again, I'll make a tutorial on that soon. Because this thing is really big, and I might like just change it out. Because like, for some, this bit is really unnecessary. Where you have a block here, and then that will go into that bit. And yeah, so basically, it's really inconvenient at the moment. Um, but again, I do have a smaller design, which is. Um, way better so that's that